I think that my process would have to be just having fun, going out there, getting out of town, living life, because you can't write a song about your heart being broken or a love song or drinking or whatever unless you are experiencing that. You know, I, I love all music. You have to respect people that, you know, put themselves out there. They listen to those songs and choose. That's something that I want to come across as and I want to, you know, project that out there. My musical influences are all over the place. Um, I Waylon Jennings, which you know doesn't really make sense since I don't sing you know country, but I do kind of have a country influence in there a little bit. I think George is kind of one of those songs that is an example of um, the country influence. I'm very cultured when it comes to music. I don't really shy away from. I give all music a chance, you know, music of the world, and I, I think you know. And I used to be a big old punk rocker back in the day and I've had my metal head days and easy listening and you know all that good stuff and I can get down to some Trisha Yearwood which is also country and stuff and but um and I do love all the mainstream music if anybody gets a ride in my car they're always like you know you you seem so you know heavy metal with your nose ring and blah 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 and how you carry yourself but then I'm listening to you know Lady Gaga and you know The Hills and or The Weeknd <laughs> yeah, the hills by the weekend and just, you know, I, you know, I, I love all music. You have to respect people that, you know, put themselves out there 
Um, and even pop music, obviously, you know, people don't all write their own pop songs and they have other people write them, but they listen to those songs and choose. That's something that I want to come across as and I want to, you know, project that out there. And um, I respect people that write their own music and put it out there for people and be vulnerable because when you really do, whether a song's about having fun with friends or a heartbreak or, you know, uh, anything tragic or sad or happy in your life, um, you're you're putting a piece of yourself out there for people to judge and to listen to it. And um, it's very, very, very hard. But at the same time, if you want people to hear that message and, you know, feel something inside, um, you have to do it if you really love music. And I was 15 years old. Um, the song is called Just Insane Said. Um, and it was, it's just, a, you know, kind of one of those pop culture -y songs, you know, things that you grew up with and are in your life. And um, Anti-Flag, which Just Insane was a member of Anti-Flag, which is a, um, a punk rock band that I used to be all into. Um, just writing about, you know, like I said, pop culture -y stuff and things that go on in your life and, you know, hanging out with friends and being silly and being young and dumb and, you know, all that fun stuff that like, most kids go through. Getting up today with lots of things to say, you know. Just like Justin Saint said, these are the days we will never forget. Gotta get a rain check on everything that's in my head because I don't know what to do without you. I wanna go to that scene, preaching that I'm drowning. I wanna get nice, cream and drop it on your well, nothing seems to go my way, but today I won't forget, babe, cause of you. Won't comb my hair today and see if it becomes a trend. And I used to like vanilla ice, but since he got older, he realized he was white. And I wish I could say everything that I'm feeling today, yeah, yeah. But I don't want to sound lame-o. I want to go to the scene, printing that I'm drowning. I want to get nice cream and drop it on your head every day oh well, nothing seems to go my way but today i won't forget because of you i want to go to the scene printing that i'm drowning i want to get an ice cream and drop it on your head every day you oh, won't Go my way, but today I won't forget because of you. Will I wish I could say that I don't want to roll you in the hay? Will I wish I could say that I don't want to roll you in the hay? Because I did it, did you? Because I did, did it, did, did it, did you? I did, did you? Why? Da 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 do I da da do Yes I da 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 do I da 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 Totally love you I was definitely going through um, a hard time and uh, really working out some issues. You know, you're a teenager and you go through things and rebel and all kinds of things like that. And um, I just, I wanted to find who I want to be in life, but at the same time, you know, you have to be what people expect of you. Hurts to find that tears a thought into anger not Slowing every beat to the worst of an 
I would love to sell my songs to people, get some royalties, um, you know, sell them right out. Uh, I really consider myself a great writer uh, when it comes to lyrics. Um, I pride myself on my lyrics, the funny stuff all the way up to the serious stuff. And um, I, I would love to, you know, write, sell a song to, you know, Lady Gaga, Kesha, um, you know, Jewel, whoever is paying, you know, so... Anybody who's out there looking for some new material that uh, wants some awesome new songs, definitely hit me up for sure. Um, but I, I would continue to love um, and go around and play my music for people and uh, open for awesome bands and support local music and support touring bands because um, it's really hard for mu musicians. You you know, you're vulnerable. You're putting your stuff out there. And um, it's it's hard living in a vehicle and you know, eating ramen noodles and sleeping on people's floors. And they do it because they want people to hear their music and they want to influence somebody and they want to, you know, even inspirational music. They're, they're singing that music to wake someone up, to make someone feel something. And um, musicians get very tough um, rap when it comes to traveling and touring and everything. Um, of course, unless you're, you know, somebody that's triple platinum, CeeLo Green produced you and you know, you're staying at the Four Seasons, but those guys can hit me up too if they want me to open for them, but. See 
Last night, I actually played it for the first time live, um, but I have been writing and working on that song for a long time, um, probably since around the age of uh, 15, 16, um, but I had never finished it. And then whenever you had approached me about doing this and said, you know, I want a song that no one's really heard, I'm like, okay, so that song is about young love and, um, you know, just having somebody that makes you feel um, alive and they're protecting you and watching over you at all moments and you know how all those puppy love stories go um most people when they talk to me they go your voice sounds way different than your speaking voice um i kind of have you know a deeper kind of speaking voice and my mannerisms and on stage i'm kind of goofy and silly and jokey even when i do play my serious songs because you have to be charismatic and people you want people to pay attention to you um, now I've played a lot of shows where people don't listen to at all, but you can't get offended by that because there's places that are smaller, you know, coffee houses, things like that, that you go and you play and people are there to meet other people, do homework, get a drink, um, and chit chat with their friends. So you can't really be offended if they're not paying attention to you, but those people that sometimes, um, play, uh, shows like that and, you know, people aren't paying attention they'll come up after you're done playing or if you take a break or whatever and go, you know, this song that you played, I don't know what the name of it is, but um, it's it's super awesome and I liked it. So um, I always give people a chance to um, give, give me praise, but at the same time, you just want people to hear your music. That's a whole reason why you write music and sing and uh, try to get shows is so that people are there. Even if they don't come up to you and tell you, um, it was awesome. You did had you had a great show tonight. Um, I want to you know get your CD or I want to get a T-shirt or whatever. Um, you're it's your it's supposed to be your passion. So keep playing even if someone doesn't pat you on the back every time, because if you're waiting for that reassurement, then um, you should just give up because uh, there's always going to be people that are too busy, um, liked it but don't have enough time or are there visiting with people. And uh, if you really want to connect with people other than just singing and seeing what the consensus is in the room, go up to people um, after you're done playing a set and the other band's setting up and say, you know, how was it tonight? Uh, you know, I hope you guys thank you guys for coming out. And people do appreciate that too. Just keep listening, keep looking for Marie Manning stuff online. And, um, you know, my Facebook page is always promoting not only shows that I'm hosting, but other people's shows. Um, I hope that we can um, definitely have more venues in Roswell um, because we can bring awesome big bands here. You know, Willie Nelson was playing in Lovington. I would love to have Willie Nelson here. You know, we just had Clint Black. Um, and uh, I would love to really be able to have something blow up here because this town really has a lot of potential. Every musician that plays, um, don't get discouraged, keep going. When you have those rough patches of not being able to write, go and live a little, you know, get silly, um, have a good time, relax. Um, if you're the type of person that relaxes in seclusion, then do that. And if you're the type of person that needs to go out and paint the town red, do that. But um, I definitely want to thank my mom for getting me into music and young and singing and stuff. and. Um, all the small places around here that don't exist anymore, like the Blues Bar Cafe. And um, I've been jamming with people that are in bands now that are in Roswell. You know, Zach Wallace was a big influence in my music. Um, Jeff Cabana, um, you know, is a new friend of mine for the past year or two. Um, and I really think all the bands, whether they're here existing still or, you know, have broken up, thank you so much for letting me open for you guys and giving me a chance. 
Um, I know that I'm a crazy lady, so I thank you guys for letting me be silly and open up for you guys. And 